Two years ago, the Crosby Ironton boys basketball team experienced the highs of making it to state, and last season they felt the lows of finishing 9 and 18. Sports reporter Anthony Scott tells us how the Rangers have learned from last year's season and are ready to make another year a run of state. Injuries and a lack of experience ultimately led to a 9 and 18 season for the Crosby Ironton boys basketball team last year. But the Rangers learned a lot from their disappointing season. Well, sometimes you don't learn a lot by the hard way, but uh, the good thing about it is these kids stuck with it and they put time in this summer and improved their game and now we're seeing some of that uh, hard work pay off. And it's paying off in a big way. The Rangers are 12-2 and two, and there's still room for a lot of improvement. I feel we're kind of fortunate to be sitting at 12-2 and two, the way we shot the basketball. So if we start hitting on all cylinders, I think we can be a decent ball club. Yeah, there's always room for improvement, and I mean, shooting, you can't shoot too good, so it's always good to be working on that stuff. The Rangers only lost one senior after last year, and all the experience the younger guys gained is finally paying off. The leadership is everything. Five seniors, just having five seniors is a lot of leadership, and that can help a lot of guys, younger down, even juniors. Helps with a lot. It's nice to have a guy like Jonathan Jacobson. He's a three-year starter, uh, coming back as an all-conference player, and he's just been a steady performer for us. The section is up for grabs this year between a few of the top teams, but the Rangers have some extra motivation as they are playing for their assistant coach, Paul Hogue, who passed away over the summer. Coach Tesdall always brings out a jersey or a warm-up jersey with uh, the name Hogue on the back, and we place that on the bench. And we just recently uh, got a plaque put up in the hallway in the gym entrance as you come in uh, in Paul's honor. We'll always miss Paul. Reporting from Crosby Ironton, Anthony Scott, Lakeland News. And the Rangers start a four-game homestand tomorrow against Detroit Lakes. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.